The Salvation Army Red Kettles. Bell ringers are at work all over Region 8, raising money for a number of programs, most important of which addresses the growing homelessness crisis. And joining us now is Captain Charles Smith, commander of the Salvation Army of Jonesboro. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you, Diana, for allowing me to come back on and visit with you again. Well, this is a very important time, very crucial it to is. fundraising. And we see the Red Kettles all over town, but many people may not know the meaning behind them. How did all of this get started? Well, it started in 1891 in San Francisco under Captain Joseph McPhee. He saw the people were hungry in the Bay Area. They had nothing to eat, and so he set up a cast iron pot and uh -huh. allowed people to donate money, and he used that money to provide provisions for the families that were hungry. And that's how it all started. So here at home, yeah. how is the campaign going so far? Well, we're uh, we're a little bit behind, as uh, as Captain Terry had told both of us last night. She's the numbers person. I do the other things. That's your wife. <laughs> right, right. But um, you know, our goal is ninety thousand dollars, and uh, we've only raised sixty sixty seven percent of that of oh. those funds. And so we have a few days left. We we are going to ring till December twenty third. But we, uh, we just need an extra push, and I think Jonesboro can do it. And the, the funds that are raised stay right here mm -hmm. to make a difference for people in our community. Yes. Serving meals. What yes. else do you do? Well, uh, of course, we have the, the homeless shelter here in Craighead County, and we, we can house 12 men and four ladies. Um, I know other agencies have ways to help families, but we are the only emergency homeless shelter in the area. Um, we also serve an evening meal each night. Uh, last year we served up to 25, almost 25,000 meals, mm -hmm. which um, it was not done before, before we got here, but uh, every night we see new people uh, coming in that's hungry. We also have our emergency food pantry. People can also come in and take a hot shower, oh. uh, do their laundry, uh, So, and, and we have hygiene kits. I mean, there's just a list of things, and of course, uh, we don't like to talk about it, but um, we also help during disaster, d disasters like floods, fires, um, tornadoes, uh, those things times. that we don't like to talk about. Sure. But yeah, but yeah, it's, um, that's that's some other things that we can do. And we also work with uh, JPD in locating people that are uh, homeless and, and lost, people that are calling looking for their loved ones. And so, you know, uh, this time of year is important for families, but um, it's also a time people can help us to help the community even more. And you need bell ringers, so how can someone step up? I, I've, I've actually helped a couple yeah. of times and I enjoy it. Yeah, well I actually brought one today. I'm not ringing it in the studio because I don't want to get kicked <laughs> out. But you know, this little bell, um, to sign up, they can go to registertoring.com and it, you can pick your own location, the time, and um, how, I mean, how, how many hours you want to do. And so you can bring your family, you can bring your uh, Sunday school class, civic group, and today we actually had the exchange club out there ringing oh. bells, and Brian McFarland, the president, allowed me some time to talk to his group the other day at Golden Corral, and, um, but um, they stepped up and they're ringing today. I know uh, Pleasant Grove United Methodist Church is ringing tomorrow at Sam's Club all day. Uh, Pastor uh, uh, Jim Stillwell yes. is helping, so, you know, um, people are stepping up, but yeah, we just need more more help, more help. Captain Charles Smith, thank yeah. you so much for joining us. We appreciate all of your hard work here in the community. And I noticed that outside right now, it's beautiful. Great day to ring the bell.